Today we're going to talk about electrolytes. An electrolyte is a solution that conducts electricity. The apparatus that we'll be using is this light bulb in which the switch are the two exposed metal electrodes. When something that conducts electricity, such as this metal screwdriver, connects the electrodes, the light comes on. A lot of people think that water conducts electricity because you're told not to dry your hair in the bathtub. But if we immerse the electrodes in carefully purified water, we see that the light does not come on. Water is a molecular substance and does not conduct electricity. However, that doesn't mean you can dry your hair in the bathtub. If instead we use tap water, we can see that it does conduct electricity, although weakly. This is because tap water contains other things dissolved in it, which are electrolytes. So does anything dissolved in water make it an electrolyte? For example, if we add some glucose, some uh, simple sugar to the water, we see the solution doesn't conduct electricity. This is because glucose is a molecular substance and therefore does not conduct electricity. What if we add some table salt to the solution? Table salt is an ionic substance, and when an ionic substance dissolves in water, it produces ions. The ions are free to move, and therefore, can conduct electricity. And we see that sodium chloride is a very strong electrolyte. clean off our system again. All soluble ionic compounds are strong electrolytes. But there are other compounds that are strong electrolytes as well. For example, strong acids are also strong electrolytes. If we add a small amount of hydrochloric acid, which is a strong acid, we obtain a solution that conducts electricity very well. If, on the other hand, we test a solution of a weak acid, such as acetic acid, which does not produce a great deal of ions in water, we'll add about the same amount, quantitative analysis is grossly degraded. We see the solution conducts electricity, but not nearly as well as a hydrochloric acid solution. 